So then, I take it you are ready to travel to the tomb of Nagasado. Your final test should not be delayed. Then we go now. Very well. We are now ready for your final test, young Sith. You have earned the right to see if you shall become one of us. Indeed you have. Is that a tone of mischief in your voice, dear Uthara? You should know by now that no scheme is certain. I, I, I don't know what you're talking about, Master. I am not scheming. Should we not get on with the test? Yes. Yes, of course. We are in the sacred tomb of Nagasado, young one. The one discovered by Darth Malak and Darth Revan years ago. You are to follow in their footsteps and reach the ancient star map that lies deep within. There you will find a lightsaber, amongst other things. The lightsaber is for you, your initiation present. Return to us once you have it. For you, the test does not end there. Be very cautious here. This tomb is like the others in this valley, and many of its old defenses remain active. No, that is part of the test. Overcome the obstacles that lie ahead on your own. Good. Euthora and I will await your return.
So, you return to us with the lightsaber in hand, as I knew you would. The Force has served you well. You took a great risk in acquiring the artifact. You used your mind and your power. No peaceful meditation, no pacifism. Sometimes you must fight in order to achieve. This gives you your passion. This makes you stronger. This is what makes you superior. That is the lesson we teach with that part of the final test. Do you understand? When a Jedi acts, it is with skill, true. But the Jedi teach you that your passions are counterproductive, that strength is only found in peace. Did you not feel a moment of excitement in the tomb? Did your passions not flow and make you feel stronger and more alive? What purpose would be served by restricting yourself from such? I would say only the purpose of the Jedi. Through this, they would control you and restrict your potential. If you came to the Academy, you must have felt the stirrings within you that cry out for the freedom of the dark side, that cry out for release. I can only show you the path that would lead to power and superiority. You have followed it this far. You must decide if you are capable of continuing. This is where your path ends, young one. There is no turning back once you have embarked on it. True, but most would say they fight only when they must, or not at all. We are the ones who know that struggle is what makes us superior. Good. The last part of your test will now commence. Here, you will learn the lesson of competition. All life must compete in order to flourish. Such is the natural way of the universe. To stand still is to know death. One must always be moving forward. So it is the same amongst the Sith. Compete or die, mercy is irrelevant. So it behooves you in this final test to strike down one you are familiar with for no other reason than to prove you are superior and without mercy. Normally, this would be against another student. You, however, get a special treat. 
You will fight Uthura here, my own apprentice. What? So this is what you had planned all along? You wish me killed? Indeed. You have become too ambitious, Uthura. It is time for you to die and someone more talented to take your place. No. It is time for you to die, Master. My pupil stands with me. Sadly, Uthura, it is you who are mistaken. Your pupil is more ambitious than you realize. Isn't that so, young? You are indeed a fool if you think to oppose us both, young one. <laughs> to think that I actually hoped you could be of use to me. This makes no sense. You will never become a Sith if you turn on us both. What could you hope to accomplish? Betrayed. He is a spy. Do not fret, my dear. All will be as it was quickly enough. You will pay for this. You... you... Damn you! My strength! It's poisoned! Careful of the Tukata. It's all we can do to keep those beasts away while we work. Sorry, I can't talk. We have to excavate this valley with hands and feet. Watch out for the Tukata. They will charge you on sight. Run back. I'm not here to get you out of trouble if you do something stupid, student. Enter the tombs at your own risk. You there. How is it that you're leaving Nagasadao's tomb by yourself? You went in for your final test, didn't you? Where is Master Uthar? 
What? You? But you aren't even a Sith yet. Surely you jest. You lie. But what if Master Uthar is really dead? How can we hope to stand up against someone who could kill him? Don't be a sniveling coward. I will prove this one a spy. And if Uthar is dead, I shall become the new master. Oh, <laughs> 
Greetings. If you haven't heard, there's some trouble over at the Academy. A power struggle, most likely. But news is sketchy, so... Anything Zerker can do for you? Do come again! Entertainment can be found at the local canteen. Hakuji Copa. Muchash. Hakuji Copa. Achut. Tunipudu. Stop. 
still around the starport. Yep. I'll never fall to the dark side. You think torture will turn me, Malak? You are a fool. Torture? No, dear Bastula. You misunderstand. This is but a taste of the dark side to whet your appetite. When you finally swear loyalty to me, it will be willingly. Never. <laughs> Such resolve in your words, but I see the truth in your heart. The dark side calls to you, Bastula. You hunger to taste it. Become my apprentice, and all its power can be yours. <laughs> <laughs> Starforge. I've never seen anything like it. I'm transmitting these coordinates to Admiral Dodonna. It'd be a quick strike by the Republic can cripple the Sith fleet. Message is away. Now we can just wait for the Republic to show up. We should be safe here. We're outside their sensor range. 
Small vanguard of Sith fighters coming in hard. Someone needs to get on those gun turrets. Take those fighters out before they report our position to the main fleet. We've got problems. We've flown to some kind of disruptor field. All my instruments are jammed. We've got massive overloads in all systems. I'm picking up a single planet in this system. I'll try and put us down there. Hold on. This may be a rough landing.
Whew, talk about your rough landings, Karth. What's the matter? You're flying like you've been on an all-night Theresian Ale drinking binge. That disruptor field fried our stabilizers. We're lucky we made it down in one piece. But if I can't find the salvage to make repairs, I won't even be able to get the Ebonhawk airborne again. During our rather rapid descent, I noticed the holes of many crashed ships scattered across the landscape. Perhaps the parts you need can be found among the wreckage. The Cathar's right. This planet's a technological graveyard. I saw dozens of downed ships out there. That disruptor field must have wiped them all out. But where could it be coming from? Even if we get the stabilizers fixed, we have to find and disable the source of that disruptor field before we can take off. Otherwise, we'll just end up crashing again. You're right. That Sith fleet we saw must have some type of protection against the disruptor field. We have to find a way to disable it, or the Republic will be slaughtered. T3's picking up massive power fluctuations on the ship's sensors. They seem to be coming from some type of large stone structure to the east. It looks like some kind of ancient temple. We haven't forgotten about her, but we can't do her much good stuck down here. We have to help ourselves before we can help her. I only hope we're not too late. Bastila has been Malak's prisoner for a long time. If he can turn her to the dark side, she will join him and the Sith will be invincible. I fear Bastila will find the lure of the dark side difficult to resist. She is strong in the Force. But she's also impulsive, willful, and proud, as you once were, Revan. I'm glad to hear you say that. Now that you know your true identity, I was afraid you might slip back over to the dark side. If Bastila feels as you do, there may yet be hope for her. Well, if Bastila's on the Starforge like you think, Jolie, then we can't rescue her until we disable that disruptor field. The sooner we investigate that temple to the east, the better. We can probably find the wreckage of a downed ship along the way. And if we're lucky, we can salvage some stabilizers from it to get off this planet. I hope everything works out as smooth as you make it sound, Karth. Well, so do I, Mission. So do I. Thank you. 